sat me up on the bedside and then the doc, nurse surgeon, Dr. Farron, came in. She took my hands and she said, Pavel, be brave. Because normally they do anesthesia, but I was wide awake. So they sat me up, they put this on me, and then they take a regular Home Depot screwdriver and they drill Whoa. this right into your skull. And while they do it, I have to, to do this with my hands to make sure that they don't hurt any nerves. While the nurse surgeon squeezes on my head to press, literally press the head down on the vertebrae. Some medieval shit. So that was quite a shock. So um, after that, I was stuck in this halo um, for two months. Um, wasn't allowed to weight lift. I was pre a pretty buff and lean guy when the accident happened. I lost 20 pounds of muscle right off the bat. And once I was allowed to do like bodyweight squats, that, that's all I did. I had bodyweight squats. And after a while, I had five pound dumbbells. I still did biceps curls outside the hospital, but I was so happy I could do biceps curls. You know, it doesn't matter if it's five pounds. I could, I could lift again. I could lift. And I know you both know that how how how, um, how it affects the mind. It's just like a dual duality, right? You lift, you get happier up here. You get happier here, you lift more. So, um, yeah. So so yeah, yeah. So would you say that strength and your knowledge of strength training? And you being involved in being physically fit as a habit in your life contribute to saving your life. Yeah, 100%. 100%, Stephen. I think if Kat and I weren't athletes or athletic, we would, wouldn't be here today. Because we were both, Kat was given a 10% chance to survive the first night. 10%. Um, the doctor said actually that I was worse off than Kat. And it sounds horrible for me to say this, but it's the doctor's words just because the C1 was broken, which controls the breathing. So if the C1 breaks just like a millimeter in the wrong way, you can't breathe anymore. So, so, so athleticism absolutely saved us. And then we had, had my, I think the mindset of being athletic and being an athlete saved us. Like we, we, we fought, we started fighting. I mean, I started fighting in a trauma bay. Like the minute the doctor told me that my wife's going to be paralyzed, I started fighting. 